cognitive performance. So it's good to talk out loud to yourself. I like it. And uh, so I just wanted to share a couple things. Self-encouragement for the win. So I know I've done this. I heard Brother Jerry do this before, believe it or not. When we were playing sports and you talk to yourself and self-intrinsic motivation. Uh, so that's a good thing. You talk to yourself out loud. Uh, talking yourself down out loud. So like if you're about to do something, 
Like you can, you can. It's good. It's shown. Studies have shown it. You can talk yourself down from doing something you're going to regret. So well, I was that way last week when I was watching the lady. <laughs> yeah, right? I was talking myself off a cliff. Off a cliff. Yeah. I was like, oh, jeez, Louise, when's this going to end? Listen, I, you guys aren't doing interactive right now. Well, hey, listen, bro. <laughs> bring it to you. Bring you know how many people are out of work looking to do your job? All right, just back off. Okay, here we go. Listen, right, Beth, here. Beth Bullock said, Joe. Here we go again. Women ought to be silent. Here we go. That's what I'm saying. Uh, exercising and self-control. So, for instance, you can, uh, 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 yeah, so right? you can be mindful of that. Maybe you're in the uh, grocery store and you're wanting to buy all that junk oh, food or whatever, and you talk yourself out of making some grocery store, right? Yeah. right? And another one, of course, is self-talk reinforces your memory. So if you say something out loud, it's going to help help you memorize something. So I know that like, even when I remodel. Well, my wife could have used that last week. She should have been saying that out loud to herself the whole time, right? She could have been doing that. But, I wish yeah, I was rich. I wish it was rich. Taking measurements, you know, for construction project or whatever, even Bible memory verses, you're better off saying those things out loud to yourself. I agree. And it and it stimulates your cognitive performance. I agree. So that's that's what we have. It's good to talk out loud and uh, just don't answer back to yourself. Hey, you know what? Another piece in the news I just want to let you guys know. There is a new uh, memorandum on phase two. We're getting ready to go into phase one okay. here, you know, with pandemic. And we're getting ready to start going back to the real normal. Right. But there is phase two. And um, phase two is requiring all Baptists must move. When they come back to church, they must move from their original seats. Oh, I like so that. So in other words, like that. the factors cannot sit in midsection on the right. All right. They yeah. now have to go someplace else. Ooh, they will up. switch. They can sit in second I'm thinking, center. I'm the center. That's what I'm thinking. But you know what I'm thinking? This is probably going to be the hardest adjustment that we're going to make in the pandemic. It's getting folks to move in their seats. Probably, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and speaking okay. about what Brother Nate said about talking to yourself out loud, which, by the way, let me say this. If you have any birthdays or anniversaries right. upcoming, please send them to 3549453, and we want to do a shout-out in just a moment. But, but speaking out loud is important. Every morning in the mirror, I say this. You are smart. You are beautiful. Mm. You are important. <laughs> That's what I hey, said. Somebody's going to do it, right? Amen. Amen. I am speed. That's for you, Levi, watching. I am speed. There you go. Amen. All right. That's it. There we go. All right. So let's move on to Snapple Facts with our very own loving, kind, generous person, Creepy Uncle Rich. All right, Creepy go for Uncle it. Rich is back in the house. Yes, he is. Snapple Fact. You ready for this? We're ready. The world's termites outweigh the world's humans 10 to 1. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. That's hard to believe. Man. That is hard to believe. Yeah. The world's termites outweigh the world's humans 10 to 1. And I will say that Mr. Factor is t doing his part to adjust that number because every week out in That's field right. number one, he burns about five cords of wood weekly. So if wow. you want to come out for a good fire, right. yeah. watch Mr. Factor. He's burning something out there. Good 10 to 1. Wow. That man is on fire. All right, okay. Good. I like it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's move it on this way here. We're going to do. Um, what do you got for us? We're going to do some trivia questions. Hey, by the way, this is interactive. This is what we wanted the ladies to do last week. But, you know, All what right. I say, interactive. Here, Here we, we go. go. Have your uh, phones ready. Question number one. How did the friends of a crippled man get him past the pressing crowds to be healed by Jesus? What? How did the friends of a crippled man get him past the pressing crowds to be healed by Jesus? Looking for your answers. Your name. All right. May need some help working this thing. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, does somebody have a manual? Oh, oh, oh. Scroll back to two weeks ago and looking for those answers, right? Well, I just roll back to three weeks ago, Don. And find All right, out here we go. All Quick right. answer from Brother Scott. Lowered through the roof. That is the correct yeah. answer. Yeah. Well, all right, here they yeah, go. Man, just tie it in. Welcome back. All okay. right. Do we get a number? No, I got, I got, here's yeah. what we need from you. Pick a number on the wheel, one to eight. You send your name and number. We'll announce that number. Every winner gets a number, and the ultimate winner will get a $10 Chick-fil-A card from the Merry Men. That's all right, right. here we go. All right, uh, no, question number two. Which book tells us not to forget to entertain strangers since some of the uh, some have thus entertained angels? Unaware. Which book tells us not to forget to entertain strangers since some of them have entertained angels? Scott's number, by the way, is number seven. So number seven, the Lord's Scott. number. All right. Job, Scotty. Looking for which book in the Bible? Oh, I see. It reminds you of coffee. I'm just saying. A little thing I shout. All right. Anyway, how are we doing, guys? Doing doing well. He's got a birthday submission. Oh, birthday. Right, but we'll wait for that. All right, which book? Here we go. No, I have an incorrect number. Oh, no, no. There we go. Correct answer from Miss Teresa with Hebrews. This is the oh. correct answer. Hebrews. 
Congratulations, Teresa. Send me a number. Nice girl, girl, girl power. Girl power. By girl the way, power. Let me say this here. She must say a stand for that answer. Yeah, thank there. you, Bracey. Stand. stand for that answer. Listen, Big Mama loves cowbells. And Big Mama, special shout to you. Love you. Miss you and cheese. And the rest of the gang. Good job, Big Mama. She loves cowbells. All right, what do we got? We got one more? We got another one. Yes, yeah. let's do another All right. one. We got the last one here. Teresa's Eat. number, though. That's right. Teresa, what's your number? Or ask Dan. It doesn't matter. Just give us a number. <laughs> All right, here's the question. Finish the following quotation of Jesus with one word. One word. One. Uno. Coincidentally, I and my father are what? Finish the following quotation of Jesus with one word. One word. One word. One word, Rick. I, I and my father are just one word. I don't think the brain trust from last week. Teresa is number three, by the way. We will write that down. Teresa's number three. Number three. Number three. All right, we're gonna go with the uh, Renee Kinsey with the correct answer of one is the correct answer. All right, so hi, Miss Renee. What's the number? Hey, I sent you a number. Send me a number. You can stick with the ones if you want. All right, we're gonna switch over to Bible training. You got it. All right, now, okay, so there we go. We got Scotty with seven, Teresa with three, and Renee with number one. One. Oh, Good well, job. Well, 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 oh, so oh, Maybe, maybe yeah. Nate will do a little special. No, I don't want that. No, I don't. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's get our Bibles out. Okay, and that you could use Google, but now with the Bibles, we want you to get your real Bible out and get ready to open those pages. I'm going to say the, the chapter and the, and the verse with the book. And you'd be able to find that. And the first person with the name and the first three words of the correct King James verse will be able to pick a number. Here we go. Ready? Hebrews 11.10. Hebrews 11.10. 11, 10. Here we go. Go. The first person who sends in their name, the first three words. And you'll be able to pick a number and possibly win a Chick-fil-A gift card for $10. While we're waiting for that answer, Nate, what time is it? It is time to... Hand washing is your superpower. That's correct. That's right. And we're not all about killing here, but you can kill germs. Because you know what, people? We're here to spread the gospel, not spread germs. That's Somebody right. say amen. amen. There we go. All right. See, that's what the ladies all right. like. Excitement, right? Well, we have an answer in for the... Uh, uh, something. Amen. What do you got there? Let's see. It looks like... The three words in your name for Hebrews 11.10. Maya P... Is that, is that my, my friend Shetty? Yeah. All right. For he looked. For that he is the correct oh, answer. Oh, 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 oh. Good job. Good job, Zebra Boy. Woo! Whatever oh, that means. All right. Okay. We got one more. We got one Let more. Let me get number two there for Renee Kinsey, by the way. Did we write that down? She's we, number two? She's number one. I thought she was number one. She's, we're going to need a number, another number then, Renee Kinsey. No, one is available. Did she pick one or she two? Picked two? She oh, picked two. Oh, two. She can have two. You can have two, Renee. Because we like you. All right, here we go. One more, one more scripture verse. Here we go. Ready? I'll say. You say it. I'll say. Go. Let's go to Titus three seven. Titus three seven. Go. Both turn those pages in your Bible. Titus three seven. We need your name. The first three words of that King James. Verse. All right, Titus here we go. 3, 7. Titus three seven. Yes. Interaction. Isn't this great? Just the blood flowing. Not sitting here listening to a, a bunch of facts. I will say we get, we, we, got, we got a lot of response here. A lot of numbers. I know. New, People new are numbers excited. Coming in. The boys are back in town. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! People calling in. I'm calling in. I mean, the phones aren't stopping, folks. My phone's even buzzing. I love you. All right, here we go. Jacinta Ta, with that being justified, is the correct answer. The correct answer. That is correct. She shoots. She scores. Good job, Jacinta. All right. Welcome back. I mean, you missed us. Thanks a lot. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over because we don't want to hold anything up. Well, we got to spin a number here. we got to spin a number. we got to do a number. Spin that oh, wheel. I love you. we got to do a number. Wait, wait. Jacinda's got to throw a number in. Jacinda, Jacinda hurry up and give me a number. number from you. You can't pick seven, can't pick three, can't pick two, can't pick any other ones? Brother Rich wrote them down there. Yeah. Seven, three, and two. All right, Jacinda, wait for a number. Seven, three, and two. Anything else? Seven, three, or two. One to eight. Well, I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick one for you. Number four. There we go. Right. Quick response. Four. Thank you, Jacinda. All right. All All right. Right. And the big number is... Big bucks, no whammies. And it is... Oh. Oh, it's eight. Spin it's it eight. again. Yep. Spin it again. Hard. Woo! Live television, folks. Live television. Live te Five. 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 Number no, it's, it. it's six. Goes. Keep Can going. I'm ready for a winner. Come on, Richard. Look at the lady spinner for last Come week. Come on. Two. Number two, there it is. Oh, Renee Kinsey. Renee Kinsey, congratulations to you. All right. Yep. Couldn't happen to a better person, Renee. That's what I'm always saying. All right, now we're going to switch gears. And we're going to move it over to Uncle Rich. I think, right? Is it Uncle Rich time? I, I guess so. Verse. You tell me. It's Bible verse time. Okay. Okay, here we go. I appreciate right. that. Thank H you. Halo's back on now. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> that will never come back <laughs> on. <laughs> Until we get home to see our wives. That's right. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> he is in trouble. <laughs> Woo! All Folks, right. I just want to say, yeah, if we right. ever turn the camera around, there's more activity going on behind the camera <laughs> yeah. than there is out front here. <laughs> just <laughs> say. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen. This verse is worth repeating. How many times do you hear a verse... And it's like, hey, I got that this time from that verse. The next time, hey, I got a little yeah, bit of something else. Right. You know, I'm, this verse is a great verse of encouragement. First Peter 1 Peter 1.3, we've already done it. But we need to be encouraged. In this time, we need to be praising the Lord. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according, listen to this, to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. Why? By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. What an awesome verse. And it was just a couple of weeks ago in our Easter service, a pastor gave that in his message. Yeah, pastor, I do listen to your message. First Peter 1 Peter 1.3, a great verse for this week of encouragement. Praise him all week long. There you go. I was just about to move the mic over so we could hear him. Don't right, do that. All right. Thank you, Brother Rich. Appreciate that. All right. Anything else, Brother Nate? We'll close birthdays. I just got some birthday oh, shout-outs. Oh, you know what? Hang on. One, one, one thing real quick. I, well, before the birthday. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You know, I, I got a gripe about Mother's Day last week. Uh, I just want to say this. We got to make sure we get this. Okay. Mother's Day. Do you realize that the world starts promoting Mother's Day the night of Valentine's? Mm. As soon as Valentine's is done, they're already pumping out commercials for Mother's Day. Cereal. And you run commercials all the way through April to May. Here's Mother's Day. You might have thought it was Christmas. Now, Father's Day? Oh, boy. Father's Day? Who's that? 7.15 on Father's Father. Day morning. It's in between the Weather Channel and the uh, emergency broadcast system. Yeah. That's what they put the commercial in. Or Stephanie's reading a Mother's Day Oh, facts. my goodness. Anyhow, yeah. <laughs> How about you guys give birth? Then, you know, it'll oh, be a different geez, story. Louise. You know what? How about you guys give birth? Duct tape. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. Why don't you tell God your suggestion, Kelly? All right. Here we go. All right. Let's Birthdays. have some close. Birthdays and anniversary. All right. Here we go. Just got one from Grammy Mae Carter, by the way. Hey. Uh, she just wanted to wish uh, Michael, her grandson Michael, 21st birthday today. Oh. Also, son in law Shane's birthday tomorrow. That wow. just came in. Daz <laughs> Taibalu had a birthday on May 16th. The Holberts anniversary yesterday, Holbert, 39 years. 39 years oh, of anniversary. Congratulations. congratulations to the Holberts. Happy anniversary to you, brother Holbert. God bless you. <laughs> That's why Blue again. Happy birthday, Lydia Carter. On uh, last last Sunday, I don't believe it was Lydia Carter. Right? No, she's a female. Well, they were right. still trying to figure out the phone last night. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the lady was trying to figure yeah. it out. They didn't even call Lydia's birthday out. Wow. Hey, Lydia, we love you, Mama. Mama C, we love you. All right, so happy uh, birthday to her. Leah Evans had a 15th birthday. Happy birthday, birthday, Leah Evans. Birthday. Tony Haynes had a birthday, uh, May 15th. William Armstrong, my nephew, birthday today, two years oh, old. Yeah. yeah, birthday today. Oh, did you have a birthday? I do have a birthday. Go ahead. Oh, here we go. Big birthday wish out to Son Dean, also known as Ace. Also known as Regis Filman. Whoa. The one and only, the yeah. great Lou Nessie's birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday, Lou! We love you, Lou! All right. <laughs> and that's all, that's all I have. That's it, folks. Listen, tune in in a few minutes for the actual church service. Yeah. And we need 10 minutes to get our hearts right with the Lord and our wife. All right. <laughs> you have a great day. Talk to you later. All right.